All right, guys, this is the Ofuzzy uh, Terrain 10 Cordless Robotic Pool Cleaner by Winnie. I'm going to go ahead and just unbox this, this uh, pool robot and uh, get it on charge. But I want to show you uh, what it comes with in the box. So we'll unbox it. And then uh, in the next video, we'll do the first impressions video. All right, so in the top we have our quick guide. Here's our envelope with the actual manual in it. We have a bag here. It looks like it comes with a hook to get it out of the pool. The charger, which I'm wondering if it's the same as all the other pool robots I've owned and tested. It appears it is. So that's awesome. Couple foam pads, not sure what that's for. Take the carton out. What excites me the most about this pool robot is it works on a track system instead of a wheel system. But you can see, looks kind of like bulldozer tracks, uh, but it also has a scrubber. So this right here should rotate and it's got these rubber bristles. So, um, you know, this one's around $600, $500, five or $600. I'll put the link down below, but, uh, the reason I upgraded to this one from our, our, you know, the other ones we've had, the super cheap ones seem to get stuck on our pool because it's not a flat bottom. Then the ones a little more than that, maybe in the two or $300 range, they don't really get stuck, but they don't have anything that um, is abrasive like this that can get the green algae. Uh, they can only suck up leaves and sand and sticks and stuff. Um, I'm hoping this will handle both. It's got the tracks and it's got the rubber piece here. So uh, let's look at it. I also hope it comes apart easy, like uh, the last one did. Oh, okay, so that flips out. And it's like a, a small basket instead of, uh, instead of you know, the, the other ones that I had. The entire tops come off, and it's like a long, wide, like a, a square strainer. But this is way better. Um, very, seems like it's going to be... Seems like it's going to be pretty easy to get on and off. I guess that's the start button. Um, here is the charge button. Instead of just a plug, it's actually got like a threaded cap. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'm excited to use this. Let's take a look at the bottom of it. Um, oh, sorry, guys, it can be tough to do this with one hand. All right, so it's got the tracks, the bristles. It's got little little wheels right there and little wheels down here. And then it's also got uh, these that um, apparently scrape the bottom and stuff too. Sucks everything up through there, it looks like. Maybe through here, I'm not sure. All right, let's get this thing on charge. And uh, the quick start guide says, please charge the robot before first use. Original charger only. Red light indicates it is charging. Green light indicates it's fully charged. So that's the standard with all the other robots. To put into pool, press the on off button, which looks like it's right here. Uh, when the blue light is on, put the robot into the pool within 20 seconds. That's kind of the standard too. You don't want to leave these things on when they're not in the pool. 
Um, put the robot in the pool with the bottom towards the pool floor. I think that's kind of uh, obvious. And then lift out of the pool. Um, when the robot finishes working or in low battery, it moves to the pool edge and the user uses the hook, which is this piece right here. will work on any standard net pole. Um, and you pull it out and you press the button again to turn it off. Uh, don't forget to turn it off once you pull it out. Um, I know a lot of people, they pull it out, they forget to turn it off, they just plug it up, and then once the battery charges, it's actually on. So, you know, it's going to beep, and or at least my other ones have beeped, and it's kind of, uh, it could burn it up or something, I would assume. So, all right, let's get it on charge, and uh, stand by for the first impressions video. I'll try to link that down below in the description. Thanks for watching.